This is a Willis Burgo 4 foot arm 12 inch column radial drill. It's a model TM50. It's in real nice shape. So um, you can go ahead and start it. I'll run the elevation up and down first. Okay. It's got a 3 inch spindle diameter. Number 5 Morris. Yeah, it's in real nice shape. That's just oil. You can smear it with your finger so you can see it's not scoring. It's got a one-shot loop system for the column oiling. That's what you're seeing. A little bit of oil where the clamp is. Yeah. Turn it down to where we can run it. Spindle speeds are from 35 to 1620 RPM. There's 12 of them. It's got a nice feature where the clamp and unclamp buttons are right built into the hand wheel which is real convenient for locating your, your holes. Bring that spindle all the way down, Carl, too, so you can see that treble. So it's got 11.8 um, inches, almost 12 inches of spindle treble, 11.8. Oh, okay. It does have the, there you go, rack on the spindle. What speed are you running? Sounds excellent. Reverse. Different speed. Is that a two speed? It's got clutches, so if you go you're drilling right now. If you go the other way, it reverses, but what you can do is that way you get all the speeds, but you have this okay. reverses the spin middle, so you got to flip the switch. Okay. Let's speed it up. Okay. The box table, nice shape. You must speed it up so you can see the feet. It's a five there. horsepower spindle motor. I'll set the feed rate high so we can see it actually operating. It's a model TM50. Just kicked out the feed. Come around to the other side, I got a machine in the way here. See the waves. And 
nut screw is in real good shape. There's no backlash or anything. Yeah, it's almost instantaneous. Yeah, for and reverse on the clutch for tapping. If you pull it around, we can see the electrics. Here we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you.